What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steve Manor here, and today we're gonna to be comparing the New Balance Fuel Cell TC to the Saucony Endorphin Speed. So 2020 seems to be the year of racing shoes and training partners. We've got the Alpha Fly and then of course the Alpha Fly's training partner, the Next Percent Tempo or the Alpha Next Tempo. We've got the New Balance Fuel Cell RC, which is highly anticipated and hopefully being launched this autumn with the training partner, the TC. And of course we've got the Saucony Endorphin Pro and its training partner, the Speed. Today we're gonna to be pitting these two against each other and seeing which one comes out on top. These are of course all my opinions, all my preferences. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys the pros and cons of both of these shoes. So if you're excited for today's video guys make sure you give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and we'll start with the tc So just before we start with the TC, just very quickly, this is not a technical spec overview of either of these shoes. This is just my thoughts and opinions on pros and cons against each other. Then obviously at the end, I'll give you my final conclusion on which one I feel has come out on top. If you want to know a little bit more about these shoes, feel free to head over onto the channel and search up the first impressions videos on both of these shoes. I go through full tech details on them and you can learn a little bit more, then come back to this video and see how these things get on against each other. So what we'll do is we'll start with the TC and we'll move on to the speed and as I said give you my final thoughts at the end starting with the pros of this shoe so it had a bit of a shaky start into the rotation but we now have 150 miles in the shoe and I have a lot of positives to talk about it and one big drawback which I think well no two big drawbacks which we'll talk about very very shortly we'll start with the pros of course the RC for me was the shoe that's the most highly anticipated racing shoe of the year just because New Balance worked so well so when this thing came out I was super, super excited. We had a shaky start, but we got there with the shoe. What do I mean by that? The comfort levels in and around the heel and the little heel flare away, that section, this section right here, was fantastic. I struggled a little bit with the lockdown, okay? So I was getting some tongue slippage, it wasn't tight enough for me. My forefoot was moving, uh, the top of my foot was moving around across the top of the material here. It was very, very weird and uncomfortable. But thanks to a lot of you guys, you sent me some pictures via Facebook, via Instagram, and told me to lace up through these holes in the tongue here, across and around here. That sorted everything out. So once we got that sorted, maybe after 25, 30 miles, we then had that dream combination of a beautiful feeling heel counter area with the perfect lock down feel. So once we got that sorted, I then moved on to the rest of the shoe, which I was already enjoying the super, super soft cush midsole with the carbon fiber plate in it, the lightweightness of the shoe, although this is the heavier one of the two shoes. And for me personally, a nice relatively wide toe box, which is good because I have wide feet. What you want in a marathon training partner shoe, because the RC and the Pro are basically longer distance shoes, half marathon marathons, you want something that's going to take you the distance. That next percent, you guys know if you've run in it that it feels great when you've done a big effort in there. You just don't feel like you've run what you have run in it at all. Did the half marathon time trial the other week? Feet, legs felt great. This thing feels the same. I've got to be honest with you, you do not feel that you've run the distance. I've done so many 18 to 20 milers in this shoe and it just feels fantastic. That's the combination of the carbon plate making it feel a little bit more effortless with the soft cush of this shoe. Look how soft that fuel cell midsole is. So overall, the pros on this shoe are fantastic, but the two big drawbacks, two big drawbacks that I have to highlight to you. Number one, stability of the shoe. Because it's so soft, because it's a relatively big stack in the heel, sometimes if you're cornering or if you go on uneven surfaces, if you're on pavement and you go through potholes, you go around a corner, this thing, your heel does feel like it can twist a little bit. It's a little bit too, unnerving for my liking. If I'm going in a straight line, it's fine. But you start cornering, you start doing anything tight in this shoe, having to do any stops, round cones, or anything like that, 
it really does not lend itself to being the best shoe, sadly. And the second thing is, I, because of that, I've really found this only to be good for longer efforts, 10 miles and over. It's not something that I feel I can take out for some shorter interval work, speed sessions. It's something that I kind of want to use if I want to get up to a pace and sit and hold in a pace or if I want to go the duration. Due to the plate or due to the way the midsole is, due to the way the outsole is, I don't know what it is, but you do, and I've said this time and time again, you do feel like it's kind of like bowed in the bottom so you don't plant flat down. It feels like there's a curve, like an arc under the forefoot and it feels very, very unsure, unstable and that adds to the instability. And so with that, easy running does not feel as good as it could in the shoe. I know it's not an easy run shoe, but sometimes you want a shoe that isn't going to be that bad. You want to warm up in and then get going. And this shoe, I feel really awkward warming up in. So sadly, it's a shoe that I only reserve for longer tempos, long runs, but overall really, really positive with the TC. So moving on to the speed and we're approaching this shoe from a very different angle because we actually got to test out the pro before we got to test out the speed. So I had some preconceived ideas as to what this shoe was gonna be like. You guys know I absolutely love the pro. Saucony have knocked it out of the park with that shoe. Fan flipping tastic. But what was the speed gonna be like? I was a little bit concerned with the slight changes and they are very subtle. I was kind of hoping it would be as similar to the pro as I was expecting it to be and thankfully it was but in my head before I got my feet into this I knew the upper was slightly different just a little bit thicker I knew there's a little bit more cush and stability in and around the heel counter and I knew we had a nylon plate instead of a full length carbon plate but with the still well still with including the speed roll technology I kind of hoped and with a P-back space midsole that it was going to feel as smooth as the Pro did and thankfully it did this ladies and gentlemen, is everything you want in a training partner to a racer. I've already done a pro versus speed video, so I'm not going to go into the details there. We're comparing to the TC here. But when I had in my head at the beginning of the year and I heard about all these training partners to racers, this is exactly what I imagined. This is what I wanted the training partners to be like. Just a smidge different to the racers, but knowing that when you get to race day, you're going to slip your foot into a shoe that feels very much home from home. So what are the pros with this shoe? The speed roll technology, the midsole, the nylon plate, the whole bottom half of the shoe is possibly the best of the year so far. Obviously, it's going to give the Nova Blast a run for its money. You guys know how much I love that, but I don't want to compare those two shoes because they're two totally different trainers, totally different purposes. Let's say from the speedier perspective, this is the best of 2020 from the bottom half. In terms of moving on to the upper, it is nice and wide toe box for me, not as wide and roomy as the TC, a little bit more snug, using that form fit 3D material, but with an extra overlay in there. So there's a little bit more finer material on the top there, but I still get that snug lockdown feeling. My toes are a little bit more like that in this shoe rather than like that in the TC. But again, lacing lockdown, never had an issue with it. The only con I had with this shoe, and again, nice heel counter area here. The only con I had with this shoe was a little bit of heel movement. I did thankfully get that sorted, just like the TC with the tongue slippage, after a few tries, different lacing, really cinching it down. We got it there in the end. With the Pro, I had the heel slippage issue with my right heel slipping up and down in the shoe. Again, we sorted that out with the extra lace loop. With this thing, it was more lateral movement, left to right, especially as we were cornering again, but I've managed to nail that down. So now, as of right now, at 50 miles in this shoe, I have no cons to say about this shoe. I've got to be honest with you, after a little bit of a worrying start with the movement in the heel. Now we've got that all sorted out. This thing is an absolute gem. As you've just seen and heard all the superlatives I've talked about the speed, if I was to choose a training partner shoe out of these two, you better believe it's going to be the speed. But don't be fooled, it's not that clear cut. What I want to say in this, if I was to use an analogy, is this is the icing on the cake. This is the cake with the icing and the cherry. This is the cake with the icing, but without the cherry. It kind of feels like New Balance had gone the majority of the way with this shoe uh, to making it an absolutely fan flipping tastic thing, but then just kind of forgot a couple of minor details, just made that instability, the fact that the, the bottom of the shoe just feels a little bit awkward. Like with this shoe, I can go out, do a workout, warm up, 
uh, do the workout, cool down, and it feel absolutely amazing. This thing, I dread the warm up, but then when I'm in the workout, it's as good. It's as good as this shoe. It's just the versatility of the speed is far greater for me than the versatility of the TC. But for me, I've got to be honest with you, this isn't a shameful runner-up position for the TC. I'm hopeful for the future with New Balance. This fuel cell midsole is second to none. It is amazing, just as good as the uh, Power Run PB that we have in there. I really can't split hairs in terms of the difference between the two. They are different. This is much softer. That's a little bit firmer but I love them pretty much the same. It's just the way they've implemented the midsole with the speed roll technology and the plate in the endorphin range is better than how they've done it in the TC. The plate is just a little bit more harsh, a little bit more prominent. I notice it a little bit more and I don't want that to be there. This is just my opinion. I know a lot of you guys want to feel that plate. I'd rather it disappear under my feet and I just feel like it's a bit more of a natural momentum rather than me feeling like I'm getting that spring from the plate. Count intuitive I know but I would rather a more natural feeling than something that I feel is being forced under my foot so for me hopefully next year they'll come back with a new iteration of this shoe or an upgraded version or a new lineup or something that just refines this technology because of what they've got going on here is absolutely incredible they just need to refine it a little bit more what does Saucony have to do to this nothing keep it exactly the same give us another version next year that's just as good and let's keep the ball rolling let's see if they can make any improvements on it because it really would be interesting to see what they can do but that's it for today guys those are my thoughts on the two incredible training partners that we have had so far in 2020 the speed edge is it not by a lot this thing is a very worthy runner up let me know in the comments below what you think if you enjoy both these shoes if you have either of them and which one your preference is distances which you like to run in both of them all that sort of good stuff so if you enjoyed today's video, guys, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and as always, I will see you on the next one. Until then.